back at it again. It's time to play Mass Effect 2. Um, we left off doing some... <clears throat> Whose loyalty mission did we do last? I think we did Jacob's. And then we need to go to talk to Samara, I think. Um, the plan is, I think, to do Layer of the Shadow Broker. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do Samara's loyalty mission first or afterwards. To be honest, I have not decided. That's my stream. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to open the chat. Okay, let's talk to Samara. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's alright. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. That's a long it time. It is the most important <clears throat> thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Tell me about her. She is an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Lovely. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she Trace! proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. No problemo. Um, just to catch you up kind of on what we're talking about. <clears throat> so, Samara has tracked Morinth to Omega, and she's telling us about how um, Morinth is an Ardat Yakshi, which is a type of Asari that um, <clears throat> is, like, addicted to killing, basically. Um, instead of, like, you know how Liara, like, mind-melded with us? 
and you kind of like share memories and thoughts and very intimate thing. Apparently when an art art yakshi does that, uh, it like <laughs> Morador, um, <laughs> it uh, basically fries your nervous system and you end up a shell and then you die. <clears throat> and the more they do it, the more they get addicted to the killing. Um, so basically we're asking her about that kind of stuff. Yes, it's rough. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Morinth. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. Oh, Scout! Don't try to get behind me! Oh my god, I almost sat on you. Here, do you want in my lap? Is that what you're trying to do? Come here. Scout's trying to die. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. Bum, bum, bum. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit yeah, back, I don't know how that bask, like... and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. <laughs> so me cry me a river. It sounds terrible. <clears throat> I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. I guess there's genetic testing. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. I'll think about it. We'll go find Morinth. Heavy. Um. Uh, oh, we 
we could go talk to Garrus. Let's go talk to Garby. That'll be fun. I think he says something the collectors were once uh, not sexy necessarily, but it's a good time. He doesn't just tell us calibrations, I don't think. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. And damn, saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Uh, are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not... Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. I want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case, fighting the collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. <laughs> You know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in this screwed up galaxy. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes. But never uncomfortable. <laughs> Why is he such a good boy? So when should I book the room? I'd wait, if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible, and take that last chance to find some calm just before the storm. You know me, I always like to savor the last shot before popping the heat sink. Wait. That metaphor just went somewhere horrible. I'll let you get back to work. Right. Because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. I just... I just love him. And I like that you get to be like, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Like, if you don't want to do this, it's okay. And he's like, no, you're you're the only friend I've got. I, I really do like you, and I think that we could make this work. And it's like, <laughs> okay. I just love that man so much. I love him so much. It really is. He's a very sweet man. Commander, you might have to speak with Tally. She seems very worried about something. Oh, let's go talk to Tally. And then we shall go do the Lair of the Shatter Broker. Where's Tally? Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Is it because you're working with no, Cerberus? No. I'm not... I have no idea what they're accusing... Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. 
So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The Admirals will be waiting for us. Tally's mission is really interesting. Messages for you, Commander. Cool. Her voice is very calming. Fuel reserves at fifty per cent. Gas, yep. Time to get fuel. Love that for me. Back to Ilium. So fun. Let's bring Garby. go do uh, Lair of the Shadow Broker. We just had the talk with Garrus where we're like, he's like, are you sure you don't want something closer to home? And you're like, no, I trust you and I like you. And he's like, oh, okay. It's, I always forget how sweet it is. It's so pure. my 
favorite talkie we that hope that you the viewer will decide whether we have done blast of justice and to other than me three obviously shepherd it's good to see you again so what can i do for you let's go get the shadow broker baby i know you're looking for the shadow broker cerberus gave me data on where to find him interested absolutely i had no idea let me see what you've got It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So... You rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? It's well, a big ass they iPad. They gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. I didn't know how you'd feel when Cerberus restored you. If you'd feel betrayed or... They brought you back, and now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are... Okay, listen. Give Fax a full refund. Do you hear me? He knows. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. And then get her out of place so handsome. Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? Hmm. This area is sealed off. Please step back, ma'am. Sealed off? 
Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. If Liara isn't here, where is she? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sifting through her crap. There's no blood, no body. It looks like Tassoni got away. The sniper didn't plan on her kinetic barrier. Clever girl. Paranoid. But clever. What are the facts so far? About 25 minutes ago, someone took a shot at Tassoni. Note the bullet holes. She stuck around for almost four minutes before leaving the building. Whatever she was doing was important. Did the police find anything when they arrived? Just the mess and the bullet holes. I gave them a gold star for finding the bullet holes. Where's our friend? Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. I love the like creepy rain investigating a crime scene. So good. Yeah, that's not the Asari home. I'm not sure what planet that is. It's Ilos. Liara's kitchen. Liara's not really one for decorating, huh? A doctorate from the University of Ceres, Alvesia. She's getting good use out of all that education. Get the feeling Tilla doesn't really like Liara. If you know what I mean. Ooh, she got some fishies. Pretty. The picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean-looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Those things must be worth a fortune. Oh, Liara, just having priceless Prothean, uh, like... Fossils and bits. Man, this lady's not being nice to Liara. Can't chill. Nothing in the kitchen. Ooh. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disc. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sikat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go.
Barry of Frontier's offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara's in there! I mean, she's a specter, like we are. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down Why here and work she my seem way up. Just leave some for me. Are you guys okay? What's happening? These poor people. They're just chilling. Who are you? What's going on? Was it a bomb? They what asked happened? me again, and I was like, oh, let's bring Tally. What happened? Tally already knows Liara. Area Frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. I wouldn't take any bets on Tassoni's informant surviving that blast. Serving industry for over 120 years, uh, the Drake Con Trade Center takes pride in being the home to Ilium's corporate elite. Thanks to us, companies like X Solar Shipping, Bing 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 and Elfell Ashlyn Energy are serving you better. Basir, the elevators are out and building security is down. No alarms, no police. Very professional. A division of Elkhouse Combine. over the, what's it called? It's eerie. Vizier, I found a military-grade explosive device. It hasn't been armed. Sloppy work. You use that kind of hardware when you don't have time to plan. Exxonor Shipping is the leading industry authority on resource logistics and management. We are committed to providing clients with secure, affordable, and efficient solutions to all the customers. Vizier, I'm at the Barrier Frontier's office. Liara signed in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Welcome to Barrier Frontiers. Let us be your guide to limitless possibilities.
able to save most of it? Or? My friends, you can't. All right, where the hell are we going? Terminal. Don't mind if I do. All right, projectors back here. What's this? Looks like someone was having a meeting. Here. These damaged pipes are on fire. They're blocking the stairs. Got it. Should be clear now. Good. I'm on my way down. I should probably save. Oh, can't. <laughs> Interesting. Damn it. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. 
Is this a cat? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Mm. Speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Liara? Something I should know? This is the woman who tried to kill me. Dun, dun, dun. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I knew it! I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. So what? You were just using me to find a message? Nothing personal, Shepard. She's not a very good actress, to be honest. But Once yes, you knew it. You got location. it. You caught she on. She signaled the Shadow Brokers forces. I'm proud of you. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood bitch! Oh. <laughs> well, she's a specter. <laughs> Do you like me trying to be like, no, she's fine. The music for Lair of the Shadow Broker is so good. That's right, my boo checks on me. Ready to fight. I hear. This gunfight looks so lame. They're just bing, 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 bing. You guys are really dialing it in, huh? Death. Oh, 
Oh god, this is my least favorite part of this whole game. I'm fine. This by the way. part right I'm here. Oh yeah, we're taking Garrus. Bye, Tally. Go back to the ship. I love you. Come on, she's getting away. All right, L to accelerate. L and right. To there she is. Hang a right. No way left. I'm on her. Hang a left. Buckle up. Hold on to your diapies, babies. She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are? Huh? Oh, goddess. Whoa! I'm not letting her escape. Ah! Uh. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. <laughs> I'm working on it. She's got reinforcements. What kind of guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. Truck. I know. Truck. I know. There we go. You're enjoying this. I had on collision at this speed. Yeah, I hear those pretty bad. <laughs> Truck! Almost Again! Got Watch out. Oh, we did it. Listen, driving the sky car. Worse than driving the Mako. I'm gonna be real. Ah! Ah! Liara is a terrible backseat driver. Watch out! They're dropping reinfor- There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. There's Vizier's car. Come on, she can't have gotten far. Watch out! They're dropping reinforcements in to slow us down. I'll send them flying. Ah. They're using combat drones. Why does she not have any of her stuff? That would be why. Fun. I cannot wait until you see ME3's, like, moves. They are so oh, cool. Right. Fighting an ME3 is so fun. 
like I don't know how to describe it. It's there's the the like launching yourself and then you like slam them into the ground. It's so fun. Scratch one. It really is. It's I really hope that they um I would love them to do the uh Multiplayer. The multiplayer is so fun. But it's not on Legendary. You can only play it on like the original ME3, and even that I think they may have discontinued. I'm not sure. But. To the left! Ooh, let's make them all look. I'm over to get to Vizier's car. Ooh, a bank terminal. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. me just stealing from some rich to give to me. Thank you. This is a hotel, I think. Dead combat drones. Where are the people? What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. Ugh. Hey, we're unharmed. We didn't see anything. I'll take it. The place is called Feet. <laughs> exactly. How'd you know? It's near the bottom. She's lost a lot of blood. We have to be getting close. She's tough, I'll give her that much. She's Sorry, got that purpley blue blood. Like uh, Vasir's being super nice. Thing. This bedroom looks comfy. Oh, she actually like killed some people. Damn. Here, you didn't need to do that. <laughs> Vizier, it's over. Hey, 
Hey, you! Come here. What's your name? M Mariana. Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. Vizier, you don't need to do this. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. Scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells, too. Is that it? What? Vasir, I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Leo. Get wrecked, Vasir. Kyrus is a sniper. I agree, it does seem renegade. They've seen us. option is you actually do shoot her. Finish. 
you myself. Didn't expect her to be there suddenly. Floated away. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Zakat's personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow You're Broker dead. has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Tell yourself whatever you like. The Council would never accept you working for the Shadow Broker. The Council? You pay them lip service while working for terrorists? You have any idea what Cerberus has done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps. Hell, your own unit on a coos. And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? Night, night, Vizier. Eliminate the Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. Vizier's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to kill Farron. We'll get Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing. When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. I can like get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy's stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. What's the plan when we get there? Get in, get fair, and get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Sounds like a plan. Bring in that boy. After sundown. The Shadow Broker lives in this? His ship follows the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. Hagadahs. 
I can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. How are you enjoying your new life as a redhead? I thought you were behind cover. I electrocuted my boyfriend. lately, but 
I still don't think I'm at the point where I want to dye it back to like a natural color. This ship is incredible. It must have taken decades to build in secret. I wonder what happened to the contractors. I think we can guess. Navigating this storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop even for a moment, at least the shadow broker would go down with us. That's motion dampeners. I bet you can't even hear the storm from inside the ship. I like my Baja Blast vibes too. I just know at some point I'll be like, this is too much work. Because the red was a lot less work. Still work, but a lot less.
backfired a little bit, you know? It seemed like a good plan at the time. I had orange juice. I would make a bundle. Where the fuck am I going? The wrong way? I guess. My boat make a bundle. I had OJ. <laughs> Shepard, I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. Okay, spicy technology. Shot ready. <laughs> you sure that what? shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me you tested it. No. Not to talk. This should slow him down. Ship. 
you don't give the mercs ideas. Watch the Asari.
update the ship's layout. We're headed toward the prison block. And Farron. Wouldn't it suck if you like couldn't bypass this door? You get all the way on here, and it's just like, mm, nope. Farron has to stay. So sorry. Farron. Liara. Hold on. We're getting you out of here. No. Farron. I thought this looked too easy. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to central operations. What's the point of this cage? I don't know. It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't expire. We have to shut this place down. Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Shepard, we really don't have the time. Tell us where to go. Central operations is down the hall. You know the shadow broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to help those seas. Get an LOS. Paint the marks. shotguns. I love using a shotgun. It brings me joy in a way that few things do. Jimmy looks so cool. Here for the drill. Reckless, even for you, Commander. That bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. 
No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferrin for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Farron betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. It'll be pretty hard to run a base this size with no crew. They're replaceable. Your arrival is barely an interruption. Enough talk. My operations are too crucial to be compromised by a traitor. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. It's good you brought Archangel to Sony. Your friend's bounty is still unclaimed. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg. A pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? He did not like that. Shields kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now! Can't target them!
Okay, there he is. I was like, what happened to him? He does look like a big Enemies toad. Incoming. Totally take him. If you can get him to bring up that shield again, I've got an idea. Kind of a stressful mission, I'm gonna be real. Liara is big, strong. He was just passed out the whole time, my sweet baby angel. He was just taking a little sleepy. He was just taking a little nappy. Shadow Broker, this is Operative Morat. We've had a momentary connection failure. Can you confirm status? Operative Shora requesting update. Are we still online? Shadow Broker, I've lost our feed. We're online and awaiting instructions. Okay. This is the Shadow Broker. The situation is under control. We experienced a power fluctuation while upgrading hardware. It disrupted communications momentarily. However, we are now back online. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next summer day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You... how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. Is taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems.
Karis is like, yeah, let's go hang out, Farron. Let's let, let the ladies talk. It's over. It's finally. For two years. Friends. It's all. spent two years mourning you and Farron. And now I've got you both back. I... Let's see what we've got. No safeguards or user restrictions. It's like he never anticipated anyone but himself being here. And it's all ours. What kind of information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Broker's network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. Don't be a stranger this time. Come by when you have a chance. The doors are always open. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks <laughs> anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. <laughs> He's cute. He's an ME3, too. Okay, I thought we would go look at the, um, there's some cool stuff, first of all, gotta get my ship model, second of all, and then, upgrades, where's the terminal with the, Advanced training. Where's the? Is it this? Dossiers. Okay, so we can read about Garrus, former CSEC officer, exceptional tactical and team building skills, leadership potential overshadowed by Shepard, unlikely to fully develop under Shepard's command. That's what the Shadow Brokers info had on him. Um, this is his kill list. Noted criminal deaths on Omega. Rahesh Shurta, gang leader, headshot. Um, Selkit Shirion, gang enforcer, headshot. Kron Harga, slaver, gunshot wounds, all extremities and primary organs. Rifle butt fracture to face and third degree burns to most of body explosive crate. Har Uric, saboteur, suffocation, environmental suit malfunction. Gus Williams, weapon smuggler, headshots with a smuggled weapon. Uh, Thralog Mirkit, red sand dealer. Uh, he was killed with a chemical overdose of red sand, direct contact with all four eyes. And yes, it says cough. <laughs> Zelenik Narhalash, viral specialist, serial killer. He coughed on him. His visor specifics. Targeting visor custom. Unique model based on Kawashi frame, magnification of up to 100 times, integrated target tracing, optional wind gravity compensation solutions, sonar, lidar, thermal, and EM targeting capable, 
monitors biofeedback on target within 10 meters to detect heart rate fluctuations or changes to breath patterns, standard council, standard council races only, uh, can detect and measure biotic fields up to 100 meters away and provide optimized firing solution to collapse kinetic barriers or synthetic shielding support. Optional kill timer can track number of enemies taken down by self or suit synced team members in given time period. Armor Hotlink provides backtrack tracing of incoming fire and corrects for micro uh, refraction of outgoing shots through kinetic barrier. And then his audio links. So this is his top five choices during a firefight. One, die for the cause, which is the Turian Imperial Anthem. Two, fire in the courtyard, sand the soundtrack <laughs> from Fleet and Flotilla. Bang Bang Boom by Club Kicks Dance Mix. <laughs> Hurt Me Deeper, Best of Expel 10, Dance Mix, and Blue Azure by Vania, the soundtrack. Ten names are carved into the frame. Arash, Montague, Marin, Grundon Kroll, Blue Feet, <laughs> Melenis, Ripper, Sunset, Vortash, Butler, Weaver, and the additional name carved and subsequent, subsequent, subsequently burned out is Sedonis. Uh, if we come back later, we can find out more stuff, but, um, Miranda, Cerberus officer, efficient, ruthless, obsessed with human dominance, possible recruitment candidate after elusive man's assassination and destruction of Cerberus. He had lofty goals. Um, so she, <laughs> extranet message, image result for Shepard Sarah Inspector. Let's see. She has a subscription for After Dark Fashions. And she canceled her subscription for Biotech Research Quarterly. And she bought a vid book called Men Are From Omega, Women Are From Ilium. Personal correspondence. Oh, this is all her trying to find, uh, like, a boyfriend. Good times. The best meet the best iPartner is proud to present you with our exclusive Diamond Circle benefits. Access your account as often as you wish. Unrestricted membership. Search across 23 systems. Review potential iPartners in full 360 degree vision. Guaranteed first choice placement of your personal dossier. <sighs> Perfect Man 01. Mm. What sort of work do you do? I can't talk about that. Like some kind of secret government spy stuff? Sounds dangerous, heh. <laughs> yes. Okay, how about a little about you? What do you do for fun? Look, I don't really care about getting to know you. Upload your required medical exam results. Sure. You had a mild case of, uh, Shintonial Abraxas four years ago. <laughs> Damn, Miranda. Also, I love that her username is Lawbringer SR2. Just... Chef's kiss. She's disconnected. He tried to read her poetry. Oh, really? Abraxas. Hey, baby, how's about a pick? Let's get this disconnect. Is he named after an STD? I mean, maybe a Mass Effect STD. Medical. This is from No Games 411. Uh, medical looks clean. Apartment block D. Anything I should disconnect. Okay. Oh, she can't have a baby. That's sad. basically says, like, we can't attribute the cause of the benign neoplasm to the irregularity in your genetic makeup. We can confirm that the progressive damage renders you unable to conceive a child. Sad. Which means she looked into it. Um, Morden, professor previously attached to Solarian Special tax, ta Tasks Group. Impressive credentials, modifications to genophage, reestablished 99.9% .9 death rate among Krogan births, current work with Shepard, obvious atonement attempt. 
um, STG stuff. Bibliography, surveillance transcript. Jacob Taylor's workout routine. His most popular workout entertainment is Blasto the Jellyfish Stings, Making of Blasto the Jellyfish Stings, Old Yeller the Centennial Remastered Edition, and Asari Confessions 26, True Blue. Great regret that I learned of your resignation from the Alliance. In your many years of service, you have proven yourself as an exemplary Marine, invaluable asset to the Alliance military. We will miss your expertise and loyalty. Uh, I prepared to offer you a promotion to the rank of First Lieutenant along with a corresponding raise in pay grade. Da 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 da. Give my offer due consideration. Yep. Oh, this is, I guess. The last thing his dad sent him. Sad. Son, if you're reading this, I'm gone. I hear dangers of these missions. It seems foolish not to have some letter like this ready, so I'm sending it before we get far from our last relay. Um... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, his dad sucks. Subject zero. Zero abnormal biotic powers. Archived combat footage uh, compares favorably with Pragia facilities expected results. Easily manipulated through emotional impairment created by severe abuse and confinement during childhood. Uh, her extranet log. <clears throat> she avoids the Normandy's extranet connection and works off of a private Omni tool line. So she basically is like, I don't trust the extranet. <laughs> Search of Citadel Newsnet archives. Search terms Cerberus, Cerberus, and Pragia. Pragia, Telton, Cerberus, and Telton. Cerberus Doctors, Elusive Man, Miranda Lawson. Cer uh, Citadel Newsnet archives. Galactic History of the Last Decade. Signed up on Citadel Newsnet forums. Username uh, Jack60734. Password whatever. Video of Geth Attack on Eden Prime, then she searched video of Geth Attack on Citadel, then she set, uh, searched video of Commander Shepard's Spectre inauguration, closed after 12 seconds, fair. Video of the crash of the first Normandy, interior footage. Video of Alliance vessel escape pod procedures, twice. Uh, mass relay locations map, saved local copy. Major shuttle ports on Citadel World, saved local copy. Major shuttle ports in Terminus System, saved local copy. Travel warnings, list of Citadel no-flight zones, saved local copy. <laughs> like how she's basically like, how the hell do I get out of here if I have to? Then she was banned from Citadel Newsnet forums for excessive and repeated swearing, derogatory comments, inflammatory comments, circumventing the work save filters. Uh, then she signed up for Galactic Champion Poker 2100. Uh, play Galactic Champion Poker. <laughs> I did, because I knew we wanted to read him first. But these are all really good still. Like, I feel like they give you insight into the characters. Then she was banned from Galactic Champion Poker. And then she used her VI program to wipe her extranet history. Uh, Dear Jacqueline, Thank you for your submission to Galactic Poetry Monthly. We regret with that we were unable to use your submission at this time. Galactic Poetry Monthly generally focused on metered, metered verse, and you may wish to check our guidelines before submitting again. This was her submission. My soul burns with a fire of darkness, quenched only in the pain of loneliness. I hold my breath waiting until spots appear black as the past and fill my lungs with lies of hope. I mark myself black and jagged to cover the scars that make me a monster. A warning, this is not a place of honor. No esteemed dead are buried here. So moody. Um, oh, this is rough. So this is, um, 
Helios Medical Facility, Eden Prime 2165, tap for past possible Cerberus involvement. Dr. Castor, I'm so sorry, these things, there's so much about prenatal element zero exposure that we don't understand. Unidentified woman, but no, she was fine, she was fine and happy, you just told me she needed a checkup. Uh, the doctor, it happened quickly, we were unable to bring her back. Uh, woman, unidentified woman, you just said she needed a checkup, how did this happen? Doctor, I'm very sorry. Woman, I wanted to see, I want to see her. No man, believe me, after what the seizures did to the poor child's body, you don't. I don't, how did this happen? We don't know, I'll be honest, this isn't the first infant we've lost this way. Why, God, why? We're working on treatments, the government doesn't put much effort into it, though. Don't want to interfere with their biotic recruitments. Sons of bitches, those sons of bitches! Listen, this may not be the right time, but if you'd be willing to let us study your baby's body, we can do some tests. You want to keep her? I don't want another family to go what through you, what go through what you went through. Okay, yes, whatever helps. Thank you so much. The nurse will have you sign a few forms. I'm so sorry, ma'am. An identified woman leaves at this point. Doctor, open a secure channel. Authorization 3362. Yes, it's me. I've got a candidate. Yes, highest potential I've seen in years. No, the family has been dealt with. Send a team from Pragia ASAP. So basically, that's how Jack came to be at the facility she ends up at. Her poor mom. Um, Samara. We can go through the others later, but I just really like the dossiers. They're fun. Okay. We'll come back because Garrus will help more in The council his. member's mistress has made some unusual purchases lately. She may be expecting to move to a larger mansion. I love that Glyph is just like, let me tell you some some hot tea. Let me tell you, tell you some cool secrets. Uh, okay, let's, do we want to do some Mara's? Yeah, Mara's is pretty short. And then I will probably be done for the night. We can do tallies next time. There, that's where I'm going. No, Jack's mom doesn't know she's alive. Isn't it? She got kidnapped as a baby and her mom got told basically like, Oh, your baby died. Isn't that so sad? Don't you want to donate her body to science? No. <laughs> and then poor, poor baby Jack got tortured. Ooh, platinum rich planet. I uh, don't mind if I do. Probe away. Launching probe. Sorry when it was like, oh, here's one of the rich planets you paid to have a map of. I was like, whoa, gotta get that. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. I wonder when they're gonna release like a an actual what's it called? Um probe trailer away. for the new Mass Effect game. I know it probably won't be for like another year, but <laughs> Sure would make launching pro uh, living more pleasant. Back to Omega. What a shithole. 
as Miranda says. like a giant jellyfish. Whoops. The daily death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Let's talk to this guy. I love Gavorn. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here, exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. Korn has a human boyfriend. Are the Vorcha gonna be a problem from here on out? Not as bad as they used to be. They breed fast, but they die young. As long as we keep them controlled, we'll be fine. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. I don't know why they let us talk to him, but he's very hot, so whatever. I'm fine with it. Come I'm on, not gonna let complain. Me in. Are expecting me? But he has a human boyfriend you find out through the Shadow Broker stuff. If you watch enough videos, they have like secret footage and you basically see him in his bedroom and there's like a Dude, talking to him. You wanna talk? Talk to Aria. Wait, maybe he's Polly, yeah? We don't know. We don't know his business. This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. We're coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information <laughs> slipped the net? I I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? If Arya wants my help, she better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my health. Fine. 
Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to They don't, that. but the last three that we've talked to have. <laughs> and I don't know why. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your deal. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. Shepard. I'm sorry. Dude, how much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. That racist Batarian <laughs> bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and Hell my friend yeah. Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> Poor Jake. All right, time to go. Fuck this dude up. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. Oh, I did, Garrus. You made a difference. You're so smart and handsome. You did a good job. centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. Oh, Arya. She came for me here in this bar. He tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. 
She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Hi, right, Taylor. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch. Thanks for staying. It was Arya's um, little joke. Bye. After she took me down, let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. You return. I've, or have you changed your mind? Shall I slink back to the safe? I should be going. To go find the assassins and also to fuck with Warden. Why don't you? No, no, humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of meat? Leave your cooks for the pork. Hell yeah. I'm not taking any chances. Awkward. Bastard deserved what he got. I feel like this is the guy that when you I walk... I got a mate and a ship. Oh, uh, he got shot. That, the bad man got shot. Out of our way, human. Patriarch says hello. We basically incited the crowd. We were like, this guy hates Turians too. And the Turian was like, what? And then he shot him. And then the Turian was like, I I got a mate in a ship and I only brought one of them with me to Omega. Hey baby. And I said, I gotta go. I already got a Turian boyfriend. He's not a cheating piece of shit, so I gotta go. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta leave. Sorry, Shaira, more commonly known as the consort, has declined to name the next race likely to gain counsel. 
council membership. However, she suggests he did have a weirdo hat. You know, not everybody's gears. Ago and no one seems to care. I the care. The said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculpture. This Not mission is pretty friends. short. There's no fighting, really. It changed in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. <gasps> drugs? What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Mm. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time. To the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and oh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Poor Neff. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Alrighty, here we go. Diary. Let's read the oldest entry. Read the oldest entry. Hey, Diary. Cycle 34, Orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, 
with a, a hunger, a longing. No one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. She wants to eat you. In a bad way. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous. Like the women in Vanya that Ben Morinth likes. How did this happen? I guess it's like mental I'm cannibalism. Just trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Creepy. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Wait, me? Hm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. <laughs> Why can't we but send the haughty gears? We don't want... We don't want more putting putting the moves on our man. Disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I feel like I'd I bust agree. in and be like, we I'm, about to, once we're I'm there. about to... I'm about to... Bust this bench's head open. She just looks at him. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it, but I never part with it. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. Gotta go, bye. Uh, okay. Here we go. And, and is nigh. And is nigh. Up on this. Arya may think of me as more than a trophy, a 
real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Use this. Don't ever let anyone think you're weak again. High Thanks five, baby. You. Pop. I am a Krogan. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve for what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. Are too much of herself. Arya loves me. I'm not worried. Is this where the VIP area is? VIP room. Can you tell I can't remember her anywhere in this bar? Okay, so it's not on this side. It's over here. I got a mate and a ship. Where the hell is it? Yeah. Yeah, I know me too. We're trying to find the VIP section of the. Is there anything in here? Oh, it's this. Like how I said no, and then I immediately was like, we do. We definitely do. Okay, this is where we afterlife VIP area is up ahead and to the left. Okay. I would I would be dead without you. There it is. Jesus. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. 
You start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know Fine. this, until I get there, you are in great peril. <laughs> she will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense. What Garrett's thinking right now? He's probably I like, I really don't born. like my girlfriend going to to crowd. talk to this she serial killer. She will want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me as I trust and honor you. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halex. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morin will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily. <laughs> no pressure. You, I've been hunting her for 400 years. If you screw up and I, I don't kill my daughter, I, I will be very upset, but sorry. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. Here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Great, cool. It's hot. It's sweaty. Perfect. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? What kind of help? My friend Moy Rawl is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Floret. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Floret's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Floret, my friend will get the message and get out of there. Two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. The music here used to be avant-garde. Something I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. Get out of here. Break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, my roll. I'm ready to head out. Mission accomplished. Are you still here? Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. I ain't hard to get. Give it up, baby. I'm so...
What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend yeah, much. Yeah, creepo -turian. You got an idea for hey, how baby. to fix that? Get the out of here. shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! you to step away you want in on this transaction hey i don't care if it's you or this bitch i just like good times this man about to die oh! good time why smell hot i don't Thanks know for that. security was asleep my name is morin i've been watching you I have issues, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I have the same issues, so it's okay. You come sit with me. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? What <laughs> if just cars? Family? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. What do you think about the violence in vids? It seems fake to me. I don't see the point. I sensed it. You're acquainted with the real thing. As are you. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. She's so it's edgy. something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe so we should quirky. Go she's she's not like regular here. girls. She's like different. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? I love finding and opening new sectors of space. Discovering another ball of gas with bits of cold dead rock around it? Each new system holds a chance to meet new cultures. Learn a new way to see the universe. Breathtaking. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. It's creepy because Morinth looks exactly like Samara, but the way they like move their face is so different. It's creepy. Let's look at all of her stuff. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Die? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, surely you just mean, uh, you're, you're just, you know, gonna tap him. Over here. I love this? any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Uh, I bet it didn't. 
Morinth, the the first gaslight girl boss uh, gatekeep. <laughs> it's someone spacey just go go through their stuff. Yep. Ooh, you got some money. Thanks. I love clubs, people, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? Anything you say. So agreeable. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Oops. Some of us choose differently. I accidentally hit it. Submission. I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no, I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Oh. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. Your mama! What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Marin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this, so I must die. You are a disease to be purged, nothing more. I'm as strong as she is, let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Isn't that fucked up? You can choose to kill Samara. Wild. Of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <laughs> Find peace in the embrace of a goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard. What do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Sad. Poor, poor Samara. She didn't want to have to kill her baby, but... stop for tonight and uh we can do tally's mission next time we pick up and then um we'll finish up all of the what's it called uh, loyalty missions Yeah, it's almost two. You need to go to sleep. Luckily, it's the weekend, so, you know. Hopefully, you can sleep in. Anyways, night, everybody. You're welcome. I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I'm sorry you stayed up this late. <laughs>